Hi guys, welcome back to 17 Square Meters Garden. It's officially fall and what would be fall without bulb planting? So in today's video I want to share with you a few tips and ideas on how you can plant bulbs in containers for your balcony garden. There is many bulbs to choose from and honestly they all grow well in containers without exception. So bulbs, we plant them in fall because they need a cold dormancy period in the winter, usually between 10 to 12 weeks of temperatures below 4 degrees Celsius. Um, so you can plant them anywhere from late September till early December even. The good point about containers is that the soil, if you use a fresh soil, it's not going to be frozen. So you can plant them basically anytime that suits you. So today I want to show you three methods of how you can plant your bulbs. Let's start with the first basic method. For this first part I'm going to use hyacinth bulbs. Bulbs need to be planted pointy side up. Here you can clearly see which side is pointy and which side is a flat bottom. But if you are not sure you can place them on their side. Place them roughly at 3 times their depth. If you want to keep your bulbs in the same pot for several years, it's best to space them further apart. But if you want to plant them just for one season, you can place them really close. Water them after planting and make sure to also give them some water throughout the fall and winter. Okay, for the second container we are going to make a lasagna. So um, the idea of lasagna is just like with the dish. You are supposed to layer the bulbs in order to achieve some beautiful composition um, with different types of flowers. So for this purpose I will use like already ready mix, you can buy those if you are not sure um, what kind of flowers to mix or what kind of color combinations and varieties combinations you want. Um, you can buy already ready mix or you can, uh, or of course you can mix and match your own bulbs. One thing that you would need to pay attention to is, um, well depends on what effect you want. For example, some lasagnas are designed to provide color all spring long, like you have bulbs like for example crocus that will bloom very early in the season, then you will have something like um, muscari, that, muscari or daffodils that will come a little bit later, and then for example you have tulips or alliums that bloom um, late uh, spring, early summer, or you can do something different that I prefer to do is to plant bulbs that bloom around the same time because thanks to this you will have like a pop of color and like beautiful compositions of different types of flowers and colors and textures in the same time. So up to you. Today I'm planting um, this tulips and chenodoxa and I also purchased a little bit more of the chenodoxa because there's not a lot in this um, bag. So how to plant a lasagna? So I place tulips a little deeper, usually the bigger the bulb, the lower you place it. Covering up with soil. And placing chenodoxa bulbs closer to the surface because they are much smaller than tulips. You don't have to worry too much about spacing, the bulbs will be perfectly fine growing next to each other. So when you plant your bulbs, um, of course you end up with a container that looks a little bit sad, that has nothing in it and if you have several of them, if you plant a lot of bulbs, then you end up having a lot of containers that during fall, during winter and early spring, they will simply look empty and that may not be very attractive of course and we always want to have something beautiful on the balcony, I mean no one wants to look at empty pots um, during half of the year, so what you can do, you can totally plant stuff on top, you can make some fall composition you can make some beautiful fall composition, it will not harm the bulbs, it will not bother them with absolutely anything. If you plant stuff that are um, perennials or stuff that um, will remain throughout the winter and early spring, like cabbage will surely be still here in spring, chrysanthemums most likely will be here in spring and pansies um, as well. So if you plant composition like this, you can just simply pull the plants out in spring when you see the bulbs emerging and um, like this you leave the space for bulbs to emerge but um, during winter and during fall you have some beautiful um, stuff to look at. Um, if you plant just 
pansies. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do right now. You should just plant your containers full of pansies. Um, the pansies they are very soft, so the bulbs will easily find their way um, up in between the pansies, and it looks really beautiful. Especially like if you plant just um, one kind of bulbs, and then you let the pansies be like the bottom layer. I did that last year. I planted pansies with daffodils, and daffodils just bloom um, above the pansies, and it looks really, really beautiful. So I hope that you enjoyed this little bulb tutorial. I still have many bulbs to plant, so I'm sure I will feature them in my future videos. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.